Herman Henry Hanneken was born 23 June 1893 in St. Louis, Missouri, where he also attended the Henrik Preparatory School. Hanneken enlisted in the Marine Corps as a private in July 1914 and served the following five years in the enlisted ranks, rising to the rank of sergeant. The United States invaded Haiti in 1915 and occupied the country for 19 years. In the years following the initial invasion, rebel forces under Charlemagne Perrault conducted an armed resistance to the occupation. On the night of 31 October 1 November 1919, Hanneken assassinated the resistance leader Perrault. Hanneken was disguised as Kakos and was led into the rebels camp in northern Haiti by Jean-Baptiste Conze, one of Perrault's officers who betrayed the Haitian leader. In the short skirmish that ensued, Hanneken killed Peralt, and about 1,200 of his followers were killed, captured, or dispersed. Hanneken subsequently circulated a photograph of Peralt's half-naked body tied to a door. However, the attempt to intimidate backfired and instead evoked sympathy for Peralt. Hanneken was awarded the Medal of Honor for extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in actual conflict with the enemy, and in December 1919, commissioned as a second lieutenant. In another raid just five months after the death of Charlemagne, he shot and killed Osiris Joseph, another Haitian rebel leader who succeeded Charlemagne. He was awarded the Navy Cross for his act. Upon appointment as second lieutenant, he was assigned to train the Haitian police force, and he was ordered to return to the U.S. in April 1920. And following his arrival at the Marine Barracks, Quantico, Virginia, he was assigned to following a special course at the Marine Corps schools. His Medal of Honor citation reads as follows. The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to 2nd Lieutenant Herman Henry Hanneken, Marine Corps Serial Number 0-392, United States Marine Corps, for extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in actual conflict with the enemy near Grand Riviere, Republic of Haiti, on the night of 31 October, 1 November 1919, resulting in the death of Charlemagne Perrault, the Supreme Bandit Chief in the Republic of Haiti, and the killing, capture, and dispersal of about 1,200 of his outlaw followers. Second Lieutenant Hanneken not only distinguished himself by his excellent judgment and leadership, but also unhesitantly exposed himself to great personal danger with the slightest error would have forfeited not only his life, but the lives of the detachments of men under his command. The successful termination of his mission will undoubtedly prove of untold value to the Republic of Haiti. Until next time, stay salty devils, semper fi, and carry on.